Lee, you've withdrawn your confidence from Boris Johnson. What would you say to your constituents who just want the Tories to get on with the job, to tackle the cost of living crisis, to pare down these NHS waiting lists? Are you playing political parlour games? Well, no, not at all. I've been very supportive of the, uh, the Prime Minister since I got here in 2019. Been one of his biggest, most loyal supporters. He got Brexit done. He was, he was superb throughout the, the pandemic and the lockdowns. It was excellent you know, with the Ukraine war. Uh, but this is, this is a question for me of morality uh, and integrity in that place over there. We had a situation last week unfold where it was quite obvious that um, a senior member uh, of, of our cabinet was in a position when quite clearly I don't think he should have been in that position. Complaints were made to, about him in the past. Uh, and it feels like a little bit like they were brushed under the carpet a little bit. And it's not just the PM who I've got massive respect for. I think he's a good man. And I think it's the old of number 10 that sort of let us all down, if, if I'm honest. And there comes a time in anybody's life where you have to make a stand. And I don't want to be stood here talking to you. I've got better things to do, if I'm honest. But this is about morality in that place. And I think a line's been crossed. And I think I owe it to myself, my family, my friends, my neighbours and my constituents to make a stand. And that's why I've done what I've done today. But I'm not happy about it. We're very happy you've joined us. Now, lift the lid on what is going on a bit behind the scenes. I would imagine that WhatsApp groups are alive amongst the Conservative Party ranks with discussions on what to do, who's <coughs> backing the PM, who's not. What sort of things are you hearing? <clears throat> no, funnily enough, I'm not in those WhatsApp groups. I'm in the main WhatsApp <laughs> groups for, for, for Tory MPs and, and for policy and for different departments, but I'm not in any groups or cliques. This is something I've done on my own. I don't need anybody uh, to tell me what to do. Um, I'm doing this with my conscience, with the, uh, uh, with, the, with the support of most of my constituents because of the messages I'm getting in at the moment through, through my inbox and through social media is that they support me on this. Look, I'm one of, biggest, uh, one of Boris's biggest supporters, always have been, but this, this I can't let this pass. It's, I mean, I'm absolutely gutted. I'm, I'm gutted that it's come to this. Uh, I'm not proud that, like I say, that I'm still here saying these words, but at the end of the day, I'm a human being. I've got to do what I think is right, and I think, you know, history will judge me.